So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides any visual information, I'm going to call the diagram question. What we specifically have here is a triangle, right? So it looks like we, in fact, have two triangles, triangle B, A, C, but then also triangle D, A, E. But let's read the question and see. Oh, we also have some measurements here from A to E is 1, from E to C is 3, looks like. Let's read the question and see um, what else we can figure out about this diagram. So the question says, in the figure shown, triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADE. So when I read that, I prefer visually to see these triangles separate. So I'm going to say that this is triangle ABC. Just label that. So A, B, and C. And then I'm going to have triangle ADE, which we know is smaller. So label that. And this is A, D, E. I know that angle A is the same in both places because it's the exact same angle. And what else do I know? I know that AE is 1, and it looks like AC is 4, right? 1 plus 3 for A to E plus E to C, giving us A to C is 4. And then what else does this question say? So triangle ADE such as B corresponds to... Okay, it's similar to triangle ADE such that B corresponds to D and C corresponds to E. Yeah, so these these guys. So in order for triangles to be similar, all the angles must be um, the same. The corresponding angles must be congruent. So we knew that A's were the same, but basically it's also telling us that B, whatever it is, is the same exact measurement as D, and C, whatever it is, is the exact same measurement as E. The other thing we know about similar triangles is that their corresponding sides are proportional, which then, based upon my drawing, we'll say that a that this triangle here is four times bigger than triangle ADE, right? So because this side has a side length of one and its corresponding side over here has a side length of four, that means the entire triangle is actually four times the size. The whole entire triangle ABC is four times the size of triangle ADE. So let's see if, when that becomes useful. So reading, going back to the question, it says the measure of angle ABC is 60 degrees. So ABC, so that's 60. So this is 60, which means choice or angle D is also 60. What is the measure of angle ADE? ADE, oh, okay. So much simpler than I thought this was all leading to. Um, so ADE has to also be 60, right? Because that is the definition of of a similar triangle. As long as we've drawn these triangles in the right orientation, and even if we hadn't drawn them in the right orientation, the question goes on to tell us that B corresponds to D, right? And C corresponds to E. So those are the angles that we should be comparing to each other. So the definition of similar triangles, again, is that you have congruent corresponding angles and you have proportional corresponding sides which didn't become important for this question but this is extremely important so we know b is 60 that means d is 60 so the answer choice or the answer is choice d for this question